False prosperity gospel teachers like Kenneth Hagin and Oral Roberts will have you believe that Christ wants you wealthy. The prosperity gospel is a multifaceted lie, so please be sure to use this entire playlist to dispel this ridiculous false teaching. Now, a scripture that Word of Faith teachers like Kenneth Copeland like to twist to push this false teaching is John chapter 10, verse 10. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. But it's always interesting that they never use biblical exegesis to garner the entire context of that chapter. And it literally only takes minutes, which I think points more to their deceit, to be honest. In John 10, Jesus is talking to the Pharisees and telling them that he is the good shepherd. There is no mention of prosperity or wealth. In fact, Jesus makes his point quite clear in the preceding verse, verse 9. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. This passage makes no mention of prosperity or wealth because it is in fact about Jesus being our door onto salvation, eternal life. Jesus isn't going to say, hey, follow me and get stuff, when in Colossians 3, 2, he instructs quite the opposite. Set your minds on the things above and not on earthly things. When in Matthew 6, 25, he instructs quite the opposite. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothes? When in Matthew 16, 24, he instructs quite the opposite. Then Jesus told his disciples, if anyone wants to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, love for the Father is not in them. Jesus doesn't in one text say, I give you abundance in the form of wealth and worldly things, and then says, do not love anything in the world or deny yourself. By deduction, the prosperity gospel makes Jesus out to be a liar, and he absolutely isn't. God bless and mad love.